houses from uh, education and I live in this moment in Venezuela. I stay in Germany when I stay the first diploma uh, that we do now, we will do now. Um, well, I am CEO from the Aula Tides. This is the organization that we will do. Sorry, because I tried to open my camera, but today I don't want open. Uh, we have a uh, um, reservation and we are in, in, in YouTube in this moment. Okay. Uh, at the same time. We are. Uh, we did. We do this uh, information. I love your presentation. This is really good. Really, uh, I love your insight here to, to study this diploma. I, to and I would like to know, you know so that we will do. Okay, Alan. Alan. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, please, would you like to close the microphone because it's really hard to talk and then we listen to your conversation at home. Yeah, sorry, my, my bad, sorry about that. No problem, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, and uh, I would like we can start that you decided, okay, that you decided what is the place that would you like to work because the place would you like to work are around 70 projects this is the place that you can do it okay you don't need inversion to this project you need to work with your hand with your mind okay and your time your time work but in virtual money in this moment, no. We need uh, in this moment how to do. Okay. The first tip that we need to do is that how how many uh, plays I will decide the work. For example, I will decide the work for a place for home near home, two square near home. I go to try and I will see what happened near my home. Okay? Near my home in two square, I know all my neighbors. I affect them in a good way my neighbors. I don't need to take a money to do any transport. And I I affect him really good because my neighbor know me and I know what happened, the problems and all benefits that I have near me. But ca you can decide it. Home, work, um, place where you uh, study, um, place where you go to take uh, the food, to take the, the the water, okay? All of this that would you, you will need. What is the way that you need to do? This is your decision the way the place you need to do okay when you have this decision at the first time the next step that you need to know is how 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 meters that you're affecting this only two square of this place no no more because in two square every time you go there you know what happened and every time in some days you say oh i would like to to do something for this because i think a lot about this okay and this is the first step that you need to work together we have this week to work together for decision that the place that we will work for decision that the uh, that you need to know all neighbors that you will affect it because then you need to decide it Okay, for every week, the next week, we, we will start with one SDGs. This week, we will to know how to work any project. Okay, and how is the, what is the tools we need to uh, stay in hand and these tools to do it any project. 
and we can do it any project a simple project every week and you can affect it all around you only these neighbors around you around you i repeat around your home or around the place that you take the food or around the place you uh you have the school or around the place you go and and go to entertainment okay that this is the place uh, every time you can you can you will go every day uh for this i would like to give you uh first the opportunity to ask me something for this if you have some question i would like to know if you don't have some question in this moment it's a really good that you have you take five minutes and these five minutes you need to decide what place you will work and then you can you can remember or you can go outside your home is this your home and you can see what happened the problems in this place but only in these two square okay if you are in this place in this moment you take a photo okay to the place is you don't are in this play in this moment or next uh, or for ne or for next saturday uh no we have a class i think uh, thursday for next thursday you take the photo okay now you need to see what is the problem or what is the really good that you would like to reply to reply okay in this five minutes you need to see Okay, I have these problems here and that I would like to to do something good for this problem. Or you say, oh, I have, this is really good for, for here and I would like to reply this, okay? Uh, you will have five minutes to decide this and please come back in five minutes. I, if you don't have any question before, uh, I will start now for five minutes. Do you have any question now? Okay. If you don't have any question in this moment, you have uh, five minutes to decide that this. I know we are saying a lot about the tools that we need to do. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay, uh, I, I I have a question, please. Okay. When you when you say two square, uh, do you mean, for instance, two square kilometer? No, no, no. Two square uh, around you. Two square kilometer is, is too much. Is two All square right. is two square is um uh two apple, you know, around you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two apple, okay. no more, no more. To square is really long way and affecting really bad. It's only two apples. Really near you. Okay, so the other one is when we are okay, when we are in this place that we're going to take a photo, we are going to look at uh, the issues surround surround us within that area. For instance, what are the problems that are deeply affecting us? And what are the, we think of uh, the proper solutions. What we think we're going to do to address those problems. Uh, Is that the understanding? Yes, of course. I understand that you, you go with this way. I say also the Thursday, in Thursday, you will give me the photo because in this moment you are online. It's no problem. But it's really good that you have five minutes, all people that uh, make the decision what is the place, okay, that you, de you decided about this. This is the most important way we need to do. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we will, if you don't have any more questions, uh, I will start with the five minutes. You don't have any question, I will start.
Sorry. Hello. Yeah, I think uh, the silence, the silence means consent. Okay, good. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You want to ask? Yes. Now, as I may say this is an assignment because we have to take photos of the area. Now, after photos, we are going to support those photos with a light up or just oral presentation on Thursday. That's what I want to know. Can you repeat your question again? Uh, you come in. We have to take photos of the areas that we are watching that we know. And we have another meeting on Thursday. Are we going to support those photos with, with writing or we are going to do it in oral presentation on Thursday? That's I want to know. Okay, I think uh, we shouldn't go to that point yet. What is asked for is for us to think of the place we going to be a moment and then come back within five minutes. So think of a place you're gonna be, and then you come back and then be able to tell. Hello? Yes, yes the respect of the location. <laughs> I have chosen my operational area. It is in Freetown within the axis of Waterloo. That's the area I always frequent and I'm familiar with the community. Okay, thank Waterloo. you, Mr. Popona. Yeah, sorry, you've not asked here to present. You are give, you've been given five minutes to think, and then we're coming back. OK, so no problem. To be Sorry. Yeah, problem. Thank you. It's OK. <laughs> So let's just patient. We we coming back soon.
Hello. Hello. How have we been able to to find a place? Place. Okay. So, are we ready? Sure. We are ready. We are ready. Oh, this place, yeah. Please. So. This question is very, very logical. So you have to think of it because you'll okay. be building. Yeah, go ahead, yes. Good morning again. Okay, I hope you see, you decided to the place only. And so what happened? Then you decided uh, what is the, the problem or the benefit we, uh, that you can work with this? Okay, and I give the opportunity to uh, as, uh, explain it in one minute. That what do you? Uh, uh, what is the place that you decided? Is some place uh, is not in this moment that you need to decide the problem. But you told me you let me know what is the problem and what is the the good way. Is you have the good way that would you like to reply, please. um okay the people need to explain it all um would you like to start now so please if you understand the instructions you can start that's yes. what you say yes Uh, Alan Callum, please let Hello. me know. Uh huh. Yeah, Alan Callum, yes. Alan Callum, yes, please. Yes. Explain yes. it all. What is the place you decided? Uh, this, this is fast. We need to start now, uh, and you let me know what is the place that you have you decided around you. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Um, good morning once again. I am Mohammed Mustafa Sanko from Guinea Conakry. Presently, I am at the marketplace where I am working. My shop is uh, very close to the marketplace. Within just these five minutes, I went out to view what is happening around in the market. There are a series of problems, series of problems around. Looking at uh, the, the agricultural products, like uh, the vegetable products that are already uh, rotting away, the price of uh, certain commodities, very, very exorbitant, very, very high. So I took a, a snapshot of, uh, of that which I'm going to present. The, the solution for these, uh, uh, for, for these problems, I, 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 I understood that uh, um, there is a problem of conservation. Yeah, the goods before coming into Conakry, from the village to Conakry, they are already uh i mean devalued the, the 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 nutrients needed actually for the goods for the products to satisfy human wants are already are already gone so and uh, i also understood that uh, the chemical products that are used on these uh, on these uh, food food items are also affecting so there is a problem of conservation so these are the problems i have identified around me presently where i am in the marketplace thank you you're welcome uh continue please all of people we are here yes. 31 people hello hello my name is uh dr carlos richard sanko i am here uh at Roquel. Uh, between Roquel and the 
Iwatar. This is a community within Western Area, area Rural District in Sierra Leone. Uh, I find out the following problems, challenges, that uh, this community, this area have challenges with serious water supply or getting pure drinking water is a serious problem, it's a serious challenge, and that is affecting these communities where I am. Yeah, and then the children have to wake up most times at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. to fetch water for the homes before they go to school. And this is affecting the children in terms of their education, uh, going to school late, and also, even the, before they reach school, they are almost exhausted. And so it is affecting our children, serious one. It is affecting the community because the source of water is very minimal. And even getting pure source of water, pure drinking water is, is a serious challenge. That is one major problem connected to multilingual problems around it. And then the other one is, I noticed within where I am, is the status of the community health center. It is really uh, deplorable. Uh, women, uh, we find out that women are dying. Uh, children are also dying because of the improper system, the, the health center, the, health, the medical health center is so these are major associated issues i found out here and connected to multiple other issues and so that's exactly and so for me the way forward is i'm planning to address the issue of water supply in this area that is one how the reason because in this area the communities have two dams, natural dams, that, that if we have a project that will support the moving of water from the dam to the various uh, community area, uh, that will address most of these issues around our children, around the community, well-being, Etc. Remember what is life, and so that is a major source of it. Okay, or we have uh, water uh, dog well system in various community strategic points that we can we can do that will serve the community. And then of course the last one is for the health center. We ensure that we get a standard health center for our children as well as women uh, lactating and pregnant women. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I am Alaji Dauda Kamara from Sierra Leone Potsloko District, Mange Bure. When I look at the view around the community, a village called Cantabana too. We are farmers, mostly always try to produce their goods, but they we are devalued because of the production system. If you look at the leaves, the leaves we are yellow, something like they are suffering from nitrogen deficiency. You see the people are yearning for production, but when you look at our melon, what a melon I mean, they are very small. The reason be, they we are not having fertilizer because the exorbitant of the fertilizer price. And presently, most of the farmers are engaging using tractor for mechanical farming. Like there was some 
of our colleagues that have already worked for more than 120 ekan. But unfortunately, the price of the machine, I mean the tractors per day, wherein you pay something like around 2 million leons, and then you have to afford 1 million 200 leon to get a 40 liters of fuel. Now, when you look at after the production, the people don't have access to sell their business Hello. due to bad roads. Due to bad roads. Because accessibility reaching and the price of the vehicles we are expensive for them to carry their goods from the community to the selling vendor. And also, when I look at, at the community, the chief of headquarter town of Mange Bure, the health center itself don't have what you call a reserve light. And most time, when cases of delivery comes to the facility, the community health worker, the midwife, they, they will challenge with access to light for them to carry work uh, carry up their work properly. But nevertheless, upon all those constraints, they've not registered a single maternal death for the past two, three years, which is good for them. Kudos to them, we keep praising them. But to me, when you look at the Minister of Health, they value the community more than the health worker, and which we believe, if you are like most of these workers, they used to stay in the city. And if you come from the city, you work in a remote area like this, if you don't have all your needs, it's challenging for you. Then, if you also look at around the community, they have what we call, they suffering from drought presently. And also, before they don't get what you call a proper drinking water. What they use, they do go to the river, fetch water and use it and those same river is where the bed is where the laundry is most some other people are those are the upper side they will sit down and also they fuse from that area there. so if they ask me to look at the view of my community this is it i'm an aji daura kamara from Butloko district reporting at mangi bure kantabana to the community level thank you all Hello again. This is Abu Fufana, uh, Foundation Health Sierra Leone. And uh, I am the education coordinator. The problem here is that we have youth whose parents cannot support their education. They cannot pay the fees. And the teachers are starved because we cannot raise the money to pay them. These are the challenges. We've got space to construct buildings in order to admit more pupils. But the space is there. We, there is no money to construct any building to accommodate this case, and the population is very high. And because of these issues, girl child is forced to withdraw from school prematurely, and uh, some go into early marriage and teenage pregnancy. These are the major problems we are facing. Structures to accommodate more kids in school, and then the power to ensure that the children are kept in school by paying their fees. This community is very poor. And that is the drawback. And this is the area I'm focusing my attention on. So to address it, we need support, and we need it more than anybody ever needed it. Because when the rains come, the more block houses which house the children, of course, is a, a disaster.
Sometimes they fall down and don't even have toilets, you know, to help the kids for sanitation. So this is the problem I have seen. And I think if I am given the opportunity to address it fund wise, definitely we will query its development. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. My name is Adama Bayo from the eastern part of Sierra Leone, Connor District. As a community health worker going to the communities, we have a lot of challenges, which is most of the patients we normally see, even when they fall sick, they refuse to go to the health centers. They prefer herbalists to see them before going to the health centers. And when this case arises, we as the community health workers, we have issues because there are so many cases. They think most of them are from those bad peoples like sending them some certain types of sickness that they don't know so like before they go to the hospitals they will just take the peoples to the abalus for treatment and which is undone so in my own community i normally tell them before you go to the abalus the first thing you're supposed to do is to go to the health center <laughs> So that's the place you will have your healing. And there are so many challenges, like we have health problems. We have so many sicknesses which the communities are going through because of the place is not hygienic. And when the place is not hygienic, we have so many deaths around the communities yeah, we allege to so many sickness and diseases. But we thank God for partners in health in Konodi Street who came to their aids and said, this is not the way people should be. They decide to make a clinic where everybody is equal, whether rich or poor. And from this time, whether you are rich or poor, everybody will go to the hospital without paying a dime. So because of that, we thank God for the community where we find ourselves. The people who think when they sick, they will go to the abalis, now go to the hospital for medical checkup and treatment. But we thank God for that. And in the same community where I am living, we have so many stigmas for people who have TBs and other sicknesses. But with the help of the organizations, we thank God because everybody is now taking them equal. Whether you have TB or not, we are all equal in the community because of the partners in health who came to us and make us realize that when you have sickness, it's not the end of your life. And we also, number two, we also have uh, challenges based on the mining east side. Because of the mining side, we normally struggle to get water to drink because of the mining they are doing in Konodji Street. It's very hard for us to get water these days because there are so many sites which they did minings, minings everywhere. So for us to get pure water, it's very, very difficult for us, more, much especially during March hours. For us to get drinking water, it's not easy. So that is a constraint we are facing this moment. I thank you all. Once again, I'm Adam Abayo, representing Partners in Health in Kono. 
Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Madam Amagura from Disability Awareness Twitter. Um, it was rather unfortunate then the link was in. Good morning. Uh, it, it, it was rather. I am Amari Mosbangua from Disability Awareness. It was rather unfortunate. Um, the link was not sent straight, to me. Can and you just go morning. straight and do your? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. 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 Let me ask. Um, the I, link I, was not supposed to. Please. The link was not supposed to share with you. It was supposed to share oh, in the group, and then you pick it okay, from there. All right. So go ahead and just right, do you. your presentation. Ah, thank you. Okay. Um, well, once more, I am Amari, Amari Mosbangura from Disability Awareness Action Group, a um, disability right, a disability advocate. Um, we are there are seven, there are so many challenges persons with disability are facing in their different communities especially in the area of getting waters and also the, the area of getting good health condition. You know, as persons with disability so, are the most sorry, vulnerable. Sorry, 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 Mr. Madu. The question here is, you find a place okay. in the community, and in that place, tell us what are the issues there and what are the mitigations. Okay. That's what. Okay, short one. Thank you. Okay. Our, uh, um, let's say um, there, 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 there is a certain community called the Dwaza community where, where in people with disability are, are getting constrained in the area of fetching water. Um, the mitigation where we have started um, um, awareness raising in that community meeting the stakeholders that that are involved telling them uh, uh, about how they should be in how they should be inclusive in doing things make more especially for person living with disability because there are times even when person with disability went in the dam to fetch water they will they will be in the queue for a long time until their own turn reach um for them to fetch water so we are now giving uh, um going doing our how um, community centralization to stakeholders, giving them reasons why they should give priorities to persons living with disability. As of now, we are getting an headway because we have seen um, people living with disability now in that community are giving the enabled environment for them to fetch water highly and went home. This is my take. Thank you, Mr. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Yeah, this is last night to me. I'm solving United United at Calabata, Freetown. And the area about to talk about is Calabata, the community where the foundation is located. And some of the challenges that we are experiencing in a particular community is lack of health workers and social services. You know, this thing has become a really hindrance to the growth of people around the community. Their lack of hygiene and so many things they are doing that is not that is not helping the particular people that are living in that given community. You can see them because there is no social worker to be doing that, sensitizing them that if you place this debt at any particular area, this thing will become a toxin to any individual that inhale such and product. You will see people are burning substances instead of them find a particular place to go and throw dirty or the or the government to provide for us a particular stationary place so supposed to be putting all trash. And most of those things are not available here. So what they do normally is put it at the streets. Some will just throw feces, dirty, whatever things. You will see them spreading all over. And we really need social services in our community. 
and two other things a lack of pure water in our community you know this has become a very constrained in our communities you know that affecting majority the, the, the children because in calabar town particularly in sierra Leone, you see most of parents when they need water they don't go for themselves they send the kids they don't want to know whether the kids have to go to school or they need to have time for themselves all they want to know is they do, should have water in their homes and there is no tap that's going to be connected in their homes to fetch water unless they send their kids sometimes their kids go for like 100 kilometers away just to fetch water and doing on the process, they involve themselves in so many things that are not supposed to be done to them and sometimes even in school hours parents will send them very early in the morning to go and fetch water before they return it's already 10. and when they go to school they get late and it's not understanding the situation they face at home in our community a lack of quality education here you can see so many schools but they do not have the equipment to teach the kids you can see some schools some schools they are doing some science subject you know but they do not have any materials pertaining to such things you know you go to some school they don't even have the materials that to educate these kids they would just go there like this is the school i've put my, my my child in school i want them to learn and the ending of the day because the teachers do not have the equipment they don't have the materials and some teachers do not go extra mile to have those materials because sometimes they think about their, about their salaries how much they are paid so then if they are paid in very low quantity very low amount so that will not even pursue them to go and find materials you have it in mind ah the little money i have i will not use it again to go and buy materials to teach i have to use this money to go and purchase things for my family so these things are really really affecting our communities then the health care we have the health care this health care is really disturbing our community yeah it's really we have we mix up people that only we just we now sir we miss the point of healthcare. Maybe, I, yes, yeah. can you say that again? What's the problem? Quickly. Yeah. No, the problem, the problem is uh, from education. It's really good. We need to only say we have solved this problem and then we need to do something, no problem. It's only the people exactly. say, okay, I go around me and see this problem. Yeah. No, okay, one okay. of the things we need. One of the things we need. Yes, sir. One of the things we need for this problem to be solved like particularly for the tap where we really need water tanks because we see majority of communities they provide the things this is their burdens in every stationary junction they place their water tank for them not to be going far away to and we have this in our community it really help us and we really it will help us and considering this the health care we really need a well facilitated healthcare healthcare and uh, dealing in our in our in our country because it helps a lot in calabar town sometimes you have a lot of high debt rate without no they will not even announce it because they know it, it will be a problem because some, you will see people every day you go to the to the to the air hospital you meet so many dead cases those because of lack of facility lack of quality doctors so please these are one of the things that are really affecting our community which we need you guys to help us so thank you hello good hello. morning um i'm rachel animal Pratt from momoke group of companies middle tongue so area Watalo. the difficulty we are having here is concerning the agricultural structure of the Waterloo community, especially that in the town area. 
wherein there are farmers who really try their best to do manpower labor as at now. What we really need is machine power and transportation to transport most of the harvested goods to the final consumer. Mostly transportation costs, transportation routes, before you can get a vehicle to transport the goods, they are already perished. And I also think if there are more machine power, that would also enable the youth to gain employment, which will really stop all of these youthful abuse, drug abuse, youth just sitting unemployed, going into other different negative attitudes and behavior. And we also need a machine power because mostly 85% of that area is swamp area. And it's very difficult to do farming manually in the swamp areas. So that is our own constraint in this area concerning the agricultural development. Thank you. Hello. Um, good morning. Hello. Yes, good yeah. morning. Yeah. Good. Um, good morning. Good morning. Um, I am Mohamed Suma um, from Sierra Multi. I'm presently at uh, Samu Chivdom, Cambia District. Um, we are in this morning. Um, I went out uh, very early in the morning to collect my uh, bank, and probably today is Monday, and school has been reopened, you know. So this morning, um, I met a lot of uh, um, students on the road there and they were on their way to school. Here, normally, students used to work early in the morning um, to prepare themselves for schools, wherein they start to walk a long distance. So, on my way this morning to where I left uh, my power bank to collect it, I met these people. So I started giving them a lift so that they will not be late for the first and the second period. Some even used to remove their uniform so that it cannot be uh, mean, rampant or the, 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 the sweat in it. Where when they reached at the school, they would put on again the, their uniform. So these are one of the challenges here. Um, in the area for health, um, they have a, a health facility, but there is a lot, a lot of challenges there in terms of uh, um, medicine or medical area. When they admit a patient, if they have given him or her a prescription, well, how can they have this um, particular pills? unless they have to refer this um, patient to the government hospital um, at Cambia. That is where there is a government hospital there. That is some um, big challenges there. If it's an emergency issue, the person must lose his or her life. And they also have this um, um, uh, agricultural site I mean, the area of agriculture, okay, they normally use um, these places they call Luma, where it um, occurs every Wednesday. So if you have your goods during that time, you have to wait until, is it Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday rather, you have to wait until that time so that you will be able to sell your goods and take care of your family. So probably if it's a good that will um, square within that time, you might not be able to put um, something for your family. Because you have to expect sickness, take care of your family, all those stuff. So these are some of the challenges here in Samu, Kivdom, Cambia District. So we have to be specified. So this is my um, presentation this morning. Thank you very much. Great. Another person, please. Hello. Uh-huh. Welcome. Hello. Yeah. 
I am Abubakar Sankor from Cambia. I am presently at a community called Kaula in the Masungbala Chiefdom. There are a series of problems, but the one I want to present on this morning about the conditions of the schools. Uh, there are lots of schools here that do not have permanent structures. The others that have the classrooms are not enough, so there is congestion in the schools. Two or three classes have to share one classroom, and the teaching there is very difficult. So this. Uh, conditions overlap other chiefdoms, but presently I'm talking about a uh, Masungbala chiefdom, Kaula, and I'm presently at a school called KDC Kaula, the same condition. So this is one of the problems that I have to talk on this morning. There are a series of problems, but this is the one I want to present on. Thank you. Please continue. I said I, there are a series of problems that I want that are here that need to be addressed. But the one I want to talk on this morning is about the conditions of the schools. There are many schools within this chiefdom that do not have structures, permanent structures. They use temporary structures which could not be used during rainy season. Those that are permanent structures, many of them, there are not enough classrooms wherein uh, children have to share two or have to share one room. So the condition of learning in that situation is not favorable. So this is the problem affecting mm -hmm. this chiefdom, although it overlaps other chiefdoms, but I'm presently talking about a Masungala chiefdom, Kaula, to be specific. Thank you. Okay. I, I just need a clarification. Are Daniela, you saying... Daniela, sorry, Daniela, please. Would you like? Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, please Mr. close the microphone, Daniela. Mr. Sanko, can I? I yes, yes, to yes. Clarification. Yes, Are you sir. saying that uh, because of the makeshift of uh, the school structure you're talking about during the rain yes if it rains then there is no school yeah of course of course when it rains some schools there is no school when it is rains okay thank you yeah yeah good morning everyone good morning good morning everyone hello hello good morning can you join me yeah good morning everyone Okay. Are you, get, Good are you getting me? Huh? Hello, are you getting me? Yeah, sure, brother. You can proceed. Yes, yes. Welcome. Okay. Um, um I'm Abdulkarim Kabo. Um, I'm a solar electrical engineer. I'm living in Freetown, Sierra Leone. I'm happy to join this forum and basically to get a very good background on this educational platform. Thank you so much for joining me and I appreciate it. Um, for my own, I, am, I just came in, just came in from now. But what I've heard from my brother is like, you people want to know the challenges we are having in our different communities. I don't know if I'm right. Okay. Just to make it uh, simple, mm -hmm. we want you to tell us where you are, your location, where you are now, and tell us what is the situation there, what are the problems you find out there, and what are the solutions that you think can be done to address those challenges. Thank you. Okay. Um, in my own community where I'm staying, I is at New York. New York community. The New York community at Yams Farm. That's along the Waterloo axis, alongside the Waterloo axis. That's my own community. I'm staying right now as I'm talking to you. Okay. And for our own part here, we are having a series of challenges. We have the basic challenge we are having here is 
we are having water we are having water challenge and light we don't have we don't have we don't have pipe bone water here only people that are that are able to dig water well in their compound they are the only one that will access us to get water but we have no pipe bone water here running in in, in in this community it's a big challenge it's a very big challenge and that is causing a lot of problem in the in the, in our school going children and even the, the the housewives you you even in our finances because um it is dipping down it tapping down into our finances to get people to to get water for us we have to buy water in these gallons you understand so even at times even if you have the money to buy the water you are, you, you cannot get the water so it's a huge challenge it's a huge challenge it needs to be addressed you see and of course uh, we are having no lights no lights we are having constraints in like electricity electricity is another one which is very key in the development of a community and even the individual you see that is a problem electricity you see so so if if, if it wants to be solved um like me uh, for me i have a company a company that uh, is involving wash facility um we can be able to to facilitate um water wells provide water wells solar using solar so that in these our communities or other communities which can enable us to get um, um water you see so this is a problem anyway but there are solutions so for for now let me stop here and give chance to other people to contribute okay thank you very we much need, no we need Sorry. the solution please come up with oh, the solution, you, oh, the solution. Yes, the solution. The solution. Yeah, the solution uh, for 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 the water. Um, except we we dig boreholes using solar to power the boreholes. That is a very good one, and it is sustainable. It can sustain. We are in. We have the boreholes powered by solar energy, um, well secured, and even um, we'll be having people to 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 look after it um training we we have facility for training to train people to run it so that we can upkeep it in terms of um, um in terms of um, prevention you know maintenance pre preventive maintenance so for the water for water so for, for us to have water that is a, a a very near one very near one it is not difficult we just have to get the areas or the communities uh the location to erect um these cubic tanks we are in will be digging bowls these bowls will be powered by solar energy as i said before you see so so that will enhance water that will enhance water and uh, of course it will help the community in different different way you see and and vulnerable people people don't who don't have water well in their in their compound we have will have access to this water and it will bring a very good uh, 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 sanity into the community and that i think is a, a very good one to to combat that water problem uh, for the for the water and also and also for the electricity um it's the same thing right uh, if, if if the government or whosoever if we have ngos who can do mini grids yeah mini grid can suffice <coughs> we plant uh, mini grids in community we can help in solving salvaging the electricity problem in the community so that's another solution you see because um we it's another way to fight um um uh, climate change you see we we, we employ a, a green energy solution you see under a, a renewable energy so that is another solution for 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 our community and, and i believe for other communities you see so so um we can do it um that is a, that is my own take thank you good morning yeah good morning all right First of all, I want to introduce myself. I am Mohamed. Hello. 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 
morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Profoli, please. Would you like closer your microphone? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, hello. Okay. I hello. Profoli, please. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, um, I am Mohamed um, Usman Kamara, reporting from Rosella Community, Makonte Chief Dome, Putloko District. Uh, I've had so many speakers given problems from their own particular communities. And for my own communities, we have a um, series of problems or constraints we are facing here. But I just want to deliberate on three key ones, uh, which are very, very paramount. And these three, they need um, immediate attention towards it in my own community. One is the area of um, a sustainable, purified, safe drinking water. We don't have it in our community. Um, secondly, we don't have a secondary school in our community. And thirdly, we don't have a proper medical health facility. Uh, we are in the health facility that will render a good health service um, to people in our community. In the area of the secondary school, we don't have in our community. Uh, if you can find out, um, Children in our community, after taking their um, national primary school examination, successfully with um, flying colors to um, junior secondary schools, it's very challenging for them. They have to walk more than two miles to school and also um, more than two miles from school for them to get back home. So this is a bigger challenge. So. Uh, in short community, children like this, uh, if they wake up very late, or maybe they don't wake up to time, by the time they get to school, for them to cover that distance to school, uh, they have already missed the first and second period. And they will be far behind others. So um, I just want to suggest an appeal to um, NGOs or the government to come into our community to help us uh, with even just a structure uh, for a secondary school in our own community. By this way, uh, it will salvage the situation for our children, for them to stop working kind of distance to access um, secondary school um, education. And the area of the health um, service, lack of proper health service in our community. For, ex uh, for instance, pregnant women in our community um, face um series of challenges even some go to an extent even lost their lives because we don't have a proper health facility which will render a, a good health service to the people if we have pregnant women late at night in our own community it's very difficult to access uh, a bigger facility like uh, for example a bemok center which is uh let me say it is a, a close by but you have to walk more than if you if you take um okada you have to drive for more than three miles to access a particular um uh, facility which is a uh, uh, mangebure bemok center uh, which is where most of our pregnant women are being taken to for them to have a proper uh, health um, service so for us to salvage all this so we want to ask ngos or the government so that they will come in to um, inject more life or in a way that they will bring in more health staffs to work in here because we already have uh, a CHP uh, in our uh, community, but this CHP is also challenging in terms of drugs. Even the staffs, they are not well paid. These are not a key challenging for them. So we just want to appeal um to NGOs government to come in to see our constraint how best they can help us here in the area of um the safe drinking water we only have uh a just um a river a river by 
and this river during the dry season it will not dry up totally but the water will drain there are numbers of people will just come in there to fetch water and the water will no more be accessible to for you to have a, a safe drinking water so i'm just suggesting if the government or NGO workers will come in and help us to erect and hand dog water well we are in uh the community will have a, a short facility to help us to have um, a safe drinking water because we all know how important it is for us to have a safe drinking water and how useful it is uh, in the area of our health so for me uh these are the key problems or challenging we are facing in our own community uh, which is the Rosella I just want to rest my case here. Hello? Can you mute yourself? Somebody's, somebody's background is very noisy, please. From Santa Mabalonzo G. You say that again? Come back again. Any other person can pick up right from there. We don't have time. Good, good morning. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Mohamed Jalo. From the Kisibu, Kisi area. Um, one of our challenges is health center. As a big community within the city, it's very bad for us. Whenever we seek medical attention, unless we go far away to the government hospital, the likes of Cottage, um, Wukupa, and any other um, private hospital. So sometimes we find it difficult. So one of our solution here to that problem is um, we're supposed to have a health center for ourselves so we can solve that problem and we already have the land so we just need support so that we can have the health center and secondly um, in terms of electricity also kisibu community we also struggle in terms of electricity and we are very close to the powerhouse, which is very bad for us as a community. Because our neighboring, sometimes they have the light and whilst we, sometimes two times a week before we have the lights. So the solution also to that, according to the EDSA, we need a transformer. So, these are my problem within the community. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, um, everything's Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Um, my name is Michael Joseph Kanu. Um, I represent include an extreme difficult rural 
each organization as the communication officer. For my own community, there are a few things we are uh, experiencing, especially for um, school going children okay, that are really suffering from um, fetching water, transportation, and light. Um, for this community, they are very deprived in terms of electricity and water resource. We think the, from the eastern community down to New York, Yams Farm, down to uh, Waterloo House. They are very, very difficult areas to have, especially water. In terms of electricity, there are school going children that need electricity, especially during the night for their exams. Most of them cannot access electricity during the day or during the night because the electricity system is not um, affordable or it has a lot of challenges uh, within these communities. So some of the solutions I'm referring for these communities is for them to have is for them to have um solar system that can be installed in some of these communities even they are not being installed in individual houses but they can be installed in some certain strategic positions where children can be gathered during the night um, read their books and make sure they are able to have access to lights when they need it during the night especially during their exams because as for now exams most of these um, external exams are on their on their way coming so most of these um, children especially girl child most of them at times um, even late for school when it comes to fetching water because most of this area do not have pure water or facilities for um, um, pipe bone waters they go far away far distance from their homes to fetch water and it's very disadvantageous, especially for girl child. Um, that a lot of things can happen along the way. They can be harassed, they can be get sexually raped, and all these other things. We have I have faced and I have witnessed first hand of these activities within these communities. So I am asking and preferring solutions that most of this community uh, we prefer with some tanks and see how they can the water can be generated from those communities implementing solar systems so that these communities can benefit from those particular things and they can stop most of these um, activities that are going on especially uh, for a girl child and all these other um, children that need light and water facilities within those communities i thank you very much Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, good afternoon. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, I'm Ibrahim Sanda Kuruma from Sanda Magbalonto, Karime District. Mm -hmm. In our chief drum, we have a lot of constraints. We start with the health facility. In a community of more than 23,000 units, they only get access to a single health facility, which located in Sindhu and the pregnant woman also to get access from their villages to the health facilities. At times there is poor transportation. They use ABOC travel from one village to another and sometimes we lost their lives due to lack of transportation. I think we miss you. Can you come back again? Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I am Ms. Stefan Stone. We may not drive the trip to that show in the world here. And I just stepped out of the office to go and know what is happening outside. While I was outside, I what are the values of between 15 16? She's working in the in the 
was transformed in a reporter after the doctor, and she said that the only means of social income for a and she starts to shallow the bread we now. The mommy at the house, the daddy at the house, but the two are disabled, and she's the one that needs to go out and make a living for them. And she later told me that she wants to put her on to do a training, a free training, other involve herself. And either do clearing or teaching any of the two so that she can move more because. The standard of living is not okay for her and her family. And she does not wish to go back to school because the, 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 the facility for her to go back to school, so she is in and is too costly. And the parents cannot afford it. So I think the solution for this problem is the uh, um, social workers and the identity problems. Providing for those girls out there. And nowadays, you notice a lot of fortune and the streets are being made by girls, teenage guys. Very few for them, they stay out till late in the night, some days in home till 11. If you notice why you're passing around the streets of Cape Town in the West Coast, it's been all over the place. And when you tell them, why are you here up to now? They say, if I don't finish selling these things, I won't go back home. I have to, I have to provide a package. So, 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 so we provide them a teaching center for these girls. We teach them there to create an environment for them so that they can, can, they can depend on themselves. They can be self certain between them. They don't need to go out. And she has a child at that age. Just like having providing food for her parents and her children, she has a child who she has at this center. So it was, apart from selling charcoal and other things, there will be a tendency to have to do more work than it's going to be. I think the possible way to start from the problem, or the problems which we face or we need, is for us to embarrass ourselves. It's either they go back to school or we put them in the external center where they can embarrass themselves. It can be self 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 empowered. They don't have to depend on you. Imagine she being a tailor or a seamstress. She goes to her place every morning, maybe for a day she just wants to take for some money. That would be okay for her. So it's a complete thing. People can encourage others who want to do the same part the way she did. It can be. Hello, we're not getting this person loud and clear, please. We are not getting it loud and clear. The voice was very low. She needs to be audible. We are not getting it. Hello? Are you getting me now, Aladdin? Yeah, we are not getting you here. Please be audible a bit, please. Okay. I'm, I'm stepping from women and girls in the city back. I hope you get me clear now. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. So the problem, what, what I'm trying to say is that there are girls out there who go to court, they do businesses, they do sales in order to take care of their homes. And the lady I, I, I just took it, I went out of the office and I spotted her and I interrogated her and I asked her a few questions. She does this in order to sustain her home, take care of her, you take a mom and dad, the father is blind and the mother is an ambassador. And she has to be able to go out to tell the child or come back home and provide it for family. It's like a daily thing. What she told me is like, can you guys please provide us a sustainable development, something that we can be proud of doing? I want to be a seamstress to do tailoring or stitching. Me going to my place of work, coming back home, will create a difference to me and my community. And with this, I we can be able to live a very, very, very peaceful life. And when you go to the street, you see a lot and lot and lot of girls doing the same thing. They stay out very, very, very late. I can close to 11 to 12. And they are saying, we cannot go home without this 
soon get him sold out. Or this business I'm selling on a minutes before I can go back to my house. So it's alarming and very, very, very serious. So the thing I'm trying to see here is we can create a skill, a development, a, a sustainable development for them, like we create a center where they can go and learn skills. After that, they can go and give back to the community they're coming from. Imagine she being a teacher, she has neighbors and others who usually think not going out to do this. And now there's a change. There's something that has empowered her. She goes and they will definitely patronize her business. And her school will have to let others in the community do the same thing. So the solution for that is for us to, with government bodies and other business partners to come together to create a skills training for these girls. So that if they want to go back to school, it's fine. They can, there's a program they can go back to school and start and give support. If they want to do this thing, there will be particular kids that will be supported. They go there, learn the skills, and be self empowered. So they from all the problems they face out there. Because it's very risky for them. Some get raped, some get tired, some get abused. It's so, so serious. I hope you get to make it now and has been. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, Momo Mohamed Ture, representing Center for Real Economic Empowerment and Development Sierra Leone, Northwest Cambia. I'm living in Magbema Chiefdom. Here in my community is a very brief one. The farmer here are struggling to farm. They need farm tools and valuable seeds to do their work and also need processing machine like cassava grater machine for cassava community and rice mill for the rice growing community sometimes they also need to be trained on post harvesting handling community this is uh, the main things the farmers here are struggling so we need help for us to tackle this one. It's a very brief one, but the time is going right now. Others need to do theirs. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I will add you from Puchloko District, Sierra Leone, Bure Chitam. Our farmers, we have more than Hello, Alagi, have you not presented yet? I think uh, you presented. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Bye. Good morning. I'm a police at Cairo. I'm a president of the US. I'm a police officer.
So I'm advocating things to help them how to access agriculture in the Libya. Because in Libya is an island, and the Libya belongs to what? Some children. They need to think of what? Education. We talk about the Omaga. And the Omaga is the people who keep on in terms of education. They are in some villages. The children are working five weeks down. They are trying to six miles away from their school. So I'm appealing for them to have access in terms of what? Even their are doing it. Some students have access in terms of those where when you look at the percentage of children who are attending, they don't be cheap books. They don't even start the market because of course the people in the area where they find themselves. And the people in terms of work, we have almost some patients we are in the need of construction, the need of rehabilitation. Like for Naga, we like to see and when you look at the PhDs that are very center, they need they need what repair. So please, I'm still appealing for them to have access to all repair and construction. Because when you look at some PhDs, the distance two times, only not when someone is saying now. For for that service to access the PhD. It's not a lot, 10 months. And to have this means it is not easy. Even more to die. So please, I'm apologizing, advocating for us to have this access. And then if you look at the road, how are these things before? It still backwards in terms of health activity, education, and agriculture. So if I may say something like this, I may say thanks to everybody, my name is Richard Dabo. Thank you. Anyone next? Are we done? Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you, can you come up a little bit? Your your voice is drumming.
because your voice is still is still a, an issue to get you very clear so if you can summarize now so that you don't repeat the same issues already said okay. Thank you. You don't get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are people? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I don't yeah, forget. Yeah. Can you please just go straight to the place? If you are on, if you are not talking, switch off your mic so that you don't interrupt the presenters. Next presenter, please. Hmm? Oh, what they do? The fraternity. Moses, please, can you meet your mic, please? Uh, hello? Yep. Go ahead. Any other person that is ready? Okay. Uh, Moses, Moses, you would like to talk? Ahmed? Okay. Uh, Moses, Moses Booker, would you like to talk? Because I, I closed your, your microphone. Maybe you need to talk. Sorry. Okay, any people would like to talk because we are finished now to uh, explain it all that happened around you. For the next class, we need to talk about this. I will show you now really fast, then we, we will work together 
every state, okay? I will show you now. Um, one moment, please. Okay. Uh, this is in Spanish, no problem, because I will speak all in English. But the most important that you need to know really fast in this moment, that you will work the project with these steps for function, causes, chain, connection, perspective, responsibility, and reflection, okay? With this uh, base, we need to work and do the project and think about that all that we told today, okay? Uh, we have some example here, uh, that a simple example with the banana. You say, if I have a problem with a banana, and this, and I think about these questions, we uh, we can do it with any problem we have around us. Okay. For example, uh, we need to ask some question for every step. For what identification this problem that you have? What identification have? What is the time the problem that you have? What de describe this problem? And what is this this problem? This is the form step. Then we have the function. Uh, the function is what is the proposal from the banana uh, in the uh, or from the problem that you have? How work this problem? Uh, what is uh, what is uh, the people around uh, this problem? Uh, some things social, civil, and uh, something organization, something government made it for this problem made it something or don't have nothing what is the form to the behavior to the people neighbor in front of this problem okay then causes why is this problem happen what is the consequence when this problem happen why is a uh, is you think this problem with this consequence maybe shame i don't do why this consequence shame your neighbors okay and then connection what is the uh, the same or different situation between this problem and the social civic and the government and for uh, the impact for the people, girls, men, kids, okay? And how uh, this problem is vinculation between the people and the problem. How affecting this problem all these place. Then the next step is the chain. How uh, how this problem transforms all place. How this problem uh, change the place to a bad way or to a good way, okay? Uh, because if uh, if you like it, uh, some benefit that you have, you can reply. And how you can how this problem lose uh, a benefit that the neighbor will have. Okay, this is for change. The perspective to the uh, to talk about what is the different point of view of the social civil of the government and organization about this situation. What is the different point of view about you? When you think about this, okay? Then the responsibility. What is my obligation? But my obligation, like individual people, not my obligation, what is the community people and the community people go to the government and say, I have the problem, I don't make nothing. No. I ask is what me, my obligation, like individual people. How can I, I develop project and production uh, uh, information to go to the way to do 
a solution. How I work to protect this situation and go to the way to develop this problem. But the like individual people, what do you think about this? The reflection, why I decided to develop this investigation because affecting me did it? I don't know. Okay? And then all of these that, that we in this moment have, okay, all of these is really important that we need to think about this. Think a really simple. The next uh, in Thursday, we uh, share all of these and every question that uh, we need to put in English. And then this question, you need to reply this question to do a, a little, to answer this uh, question and then go to do and make the project. A really simple way, okay? This is a really simple. This needs to do, this is a effective, um, uh, uh, do it and call to do it, uh, uh, look at the project. Why? I will look now. Because these uh, concepts, okay, is from IV registration. IV registration is the best education in the world, okay, the IV program. You can look at the internet, the IV program. These concepts is for work you every, every project that do, you will do. And the best education will show us this and make a good way to do a simple, simple question that you need to answer for this problem that you have around and you decided to take it, uh, take it and do it in every project for different situations. Maybe your project you don't you don't have problem with the energy for example some people but uh, you can work when the teacher for SG is seven it is a uh, uh, energy this teacher that gives you uh some uh told and work project a little project in one week you need to make the 17 and uh, 18 little projects for a, for a work this all 18 weeks. Yet you have a one half an amount to do it a big project that you need to show and decide. It. But the first time we need to work a little project and we need to work every week. Okay? In this moment we have we will work to uh, the third uh, day you need to construct this uh, project, the problem that you have around. Okay, with the base, with the uh, with the question that I would show, I will show. Okay, with this all of question that you need to think about the question, with the form, with the function, with the causes, with the chain with the connection, perspective, responsibility, and reflection. And I will give you the, 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 the questions. This question I will give you is you can change. Ah, uh, this question, the problem for me is water. Okay, and this question, what is the problem for the water? Okay, uh, the problem for me for the food. What is the problem for the food, the real problem? You need to answer this question. You need to decide how many questions that you have. It's a minimum three questions for every step. And these three questions, you need to do the answer for this question. This is the most important that you need to do, okay? And now we uh, are really uh, excited and also are really tired for a, a really good meeting because all of you have the intervention and explain it all that what happened and it's a really proud uh, for continuities communication between us 
and really please ask me uh, every question that you need. Every week, okay, every week we will construe the tools that you need to make the, a big project. But again, I reply, I reply, okay, that you need to work every week a little project and understand what is your uh, situation and in every time work for a big project. Okay, please, do you have any questions about this? In this moment, I think you don't have any question because we work really, uh, really fast. It's only a presentation that what we will work on Thursday. Next Thursday, we need to work with this, uh, with this step. Every step, every people need to write in his uh, on on Thursday uh, the um, the question and think about. What is the answer of this? Because the next uh, the next week you need to give me uh, the all answer and question about your your uh, your problem that you decided uh, make the project. I think we have um, we need to see we have in the, this English team. No, this is um, uh, sorry, this is a diplomatic diploma. Uh, diploma have uh, a time uh -huh. 10 a.m. Thursday. Okay, in Saturday you need to give me this information. The next Saturday, okay. After a uh, Thursday, you will write all the questions and then you will work uh, to the, to make the answer about this question. Okay, and Thursdays you uh, learning about this all about this and you have any question or oh, we need to say goodbye and i will see you the next thursday thank you very much we appreciate you and behalf of the team here we are always ready and gentlemen and ladies until we meet Thursday again the same time 10 o'clock so please be there and whoever you can help for him or her to be able to access because i'm seeing a lot of people are struggling to connect uh, there are issues around connection however so we want to have uh, please if you can provide us uh, a copy of uh, this today so that those who, who we are trying to connect but link they can learn from you from the records and even for ourselves, those who we are not uh, okay with some areas, they can they can okay those areas. And again, so what about tools that uh, we you think very important for us? If you can share them ahead of time for us in English, that will be fine. Once again, we want to thank you. We appreciate you. Till we meet again Thursday. Thank you. You're welcome. I will give you the link today. Tomorrow is the same yeah. time. And tomorrow no, Thursday is the same time. Okay. And we will work together to, to do the all this function for the next Thursday. No Hello. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, I also want to appeal for the questions. Um, if, if you can provide the questions for every um, lesson um, in the reading, it will be fine. You can just explain the question or give these questions and orally. Let's be having them in a, in a written form. So we'll take our time to do the, the to answer them. That's my suggestion. Great, and no problem. Today I will give you in English all the questions, and then you think you next uh, Thursday uh, we will work together for this question. It is good for all of you. I will give you in the afternoon, okay? The, the, the final day. It's good for you? Okay. Yeah, good. it's good. 
Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yes. Yeah. So, so since we have a common group now, so whatever you share with us will be shared there, and then people can pick up from there. Okay. Uh, some some people writing that don't have in the group is Amadou Amadou Amos Bantura. Please use this and take the number one because these people at this moment of this person need to to do it. Okay. 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 I will put in the in the group. Okay. Well, thank you for your attention and uh, we will see you next week. And also a comment. Thank huh? you. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Has she gone? Thank yes, you very you much. Can, bye. Yeah, you can, no. uh, bye, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank bye, you. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye 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 bye. 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 Have a beautiful day. You have a good day. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Bye bye.